welcome to the video ladies and gentlemen i hope you're all doing well and today we're going to take a quick look at daisy update 1.05 for the staple branch on pc it won't be too long until it's out on consoles so let's take a look at what this update has to offer just quickly before we get into detail 1.05 brings you an expansion on the disease system and introduces an advanced vaulting and climbing system on the combat side the team have added two new pistols and an assault rifle a new vehicle in the Sarkar 120 and longer-lasting survivor corpses, as well as visible decay over time. First up in more detail, we're going to take a look at the new vehicle, the Sarka 120, which is a four-door rear-engined automobile, which you will need a car battery, car spark plug, radiator, plenty of water, if it starts smoking there's not enough, and some gasoline to get it running. Once you're happy with the components attached to your Sarka 120, it will reach a top speed of 116 km per hour. Just be careful when you're refueling this beautiful yellow beast at a gas station. Next up, we're going to take a quick look at the KAS-74U Assault Rifle, which is a shortened version of the KA-74 Assault Rifle, usually equipped with a side-folding metal shoulder stock and holds 30 rounds of 5.45 by 39mm ammo in its standard magazines and has fully automatic and semi-automatic firing modes. And next up, we're going to take a quick look at the Mlock 91. God, that's so weird to say which is a semi-automatic pistol fed from a detachable magazine holding 15 rounds of 9x19mm parabellum. Affordable and compact, it is commonly used by the Cherna Russian police forces, but now it's used by you to shoot me in the face. And the final new firearm for update 1.05 is one of my all-time favorites from back in the day, the Mark II, which is a semi-automatic integrally suppressed pistol fed from a detachable magazine holding 10 rounds of 22 long rifle. It is considered silent, and lethal against short-range targets without armor. And finally, but by no means the last, and probably the most impactful feature added in 1.05 is climbing and vaulting. Oh yes, you can now climb and vault over many objects in Cherneris, to be used as either a quick getaway from infected or other survivors, or to reach that newly desired vantage point never reachable before to take out your targets. Yeah, it's a pretty cool little feature and something we've all been waiting for for quite some time. Oh yeah, one other cool thing, you can now throw grenades through windows to take out a target rather than open a door quickly and risk it. If they're camping in a building, just lob that grenade through the window. Just make sure you throw it correctly by tapping G to enter throw mode and then holding the mouse for strength of throw. I pressed and held G because I thought G was throw and it dropped it at my feet. So don't do that. Don't Just don't be me. Of course, these additions are only the tip of the iceberg for update 1.05, as we have food poisoning, tutorial screens in the main menu, and whisper, talk, and shout voice levels for voiceover network, as the infected are now also attracted to talking survivors. Of course, I will leave a link in the description below for the full changelog for you to check out in full detail yourselves. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you peeps next time.